Assalamualaikum, my name is Nur Isladi Binti Isladi. So today I would like to present my project with title Population Genetic Structure of Malabar Traveli, Karangoides Malabaricus in Malaysia Influenced by Mitochondria DNA Control Region. My supervisor is Dr. Tuan Nurul Aimi Majapah. Malaysia is located in Indo-Malay Archipelago, the center of marine biodiversity and have the highest level of species richness due to the surrounded by the coral reef ecosystem. It offers opportunities for fisheries exploitation for South China Sea, Strait of Malacca, Sulu Sea and Silibus Sea. This species is known as the Mudo Chilmin, the Mudo Chilmin, Chupa, Sangai and Rambai in Malaysia. It's one of the commercially important and edible fish in Malaysia. It is a marine tropical fish that can be found around the coral and rocky reef and moderately tolerant of turbid water. In Malaysia, fisheries industry have important role in production of fisheries products and to national economy. Malaysian population represents 60 to 70 percent of the total protein consumption indicate the vital role of fish. There are two types of marine capture fisheries, coastal and deep sea fisheries. The mean total commercial marine fish landing are about 1.4 billion metric tons per year. MTDNA contingents is used because it has more polymerism and potentially could reveal better delineation of stock structure and it is a popular marker for studying population genetic and demographic history for aquatic organisms. The threat to fisheries industry is unsustainable exploitation for fisheries resource and the limited genetic data for this species. The significance of the study is population genetic structure provide information on the geographic structure of the species and the genetic population definition is important and can improve the fisheries management. The objective is to determine the genetic diversity and population genetic structure of Karungaidas malabaricus in Malaysia. The red point show the sampling site for my study and each sampling site will represent by 10 individuals. This is the following method that have been done in my project and there are three types of data analysis which is genetic diversity, phylogenetic analysis and population genetic structure. Genetic diversity analysis show there are 49 unique haplotypes among 60 individuals with high haplotype diversity and low nucleotide diversity. It can be occur because of the population experiencing bottleneck or about to extinct and the at least loose followed by the quick population growth from a small population. The marine fishes generally show low level of genetic definition among the population within the Malaysia water due to high dispersal potential, lack of physical barrier, high mobility facilitate mixing among distant population and some marine fishes has been linked to circulation pattern and water exchange between sea and ocean. And this factor above indicate the following result in this species. Maximum likelihood phylogenetic tree show there are three clusters in Malaysia water. The major lineage is cluster 1 and the minor lineage is from cluster 2 and cluster 3. Analysis of molecular variance analysis reveal low FST value indicate the extensive gene flow within this region. The median joining network based on nucleotide distance among the haplotype indicate 6 haplotypes were shared by 2 localities, 2 haplotypes were shared between 3 localities and the remaining haplotype were found only once for each localities. In conclusion, the result did not support the existence of different management units of Karungaidus malabricus across the Malaysian water. Through the additional study, possibly with genome-wide data are required to access patterns more widely. The preliminary data provided in this study on the population genetic diversity will be benefit to establish an effective fisheries management strategy for the species.